I'm James McIntosh, and as we're travelling around London looking at the world in one city with Aga at Divertimenti, we're looking at Israel today, and we're with Marlena Spaler. Marlena has written over 50 cookbooks. She is the authority in food world about Israeli food. So, Marlena, tell us a little bit about what we're going to cook today. Today we're going to make chatzilim. Chatzilim? Chatzilim aubergine salad. Mm -hmm. And it's, we're roasting it right now. It's in the aga, flame roasting. Well, not flame, but it's going to be black. It's going to be great. And I think we should just go there and open it up and... Have a look. And have a look. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll eat it with some pita. It'll be beautiful. We'll mix it with a little mayonnaise, quite a bit of garlic, some spices, and it's just great. It'll take us two seconds. Okay, thank you. The aubergine has just been roasting on the floor of the roasting oven in the agar. We just put two holes in it, left it for about 20 minutes, and it should go all nice and squidgy. We'll just leave it to cool down, and then we'll make it up with Marlena into the, what do you call it again? Hasilim. Hasilim. I'm going to make chatzilim, which is a Israeli uh, aubergine salad. And the reason I chose it, here we have one really well roasted, nice and soft aubergine. The reason I chose it is because Jews from all over uh, Eastern Europe, Russia, Romania, all of these places all make aubergine salad. And in the Middle East too. Um, Jews from all over the Middle East make aubergine salad, and the Arabs too. So to me, it is a kind of a happiness, peaceful salad. It's the salad for all of us, and it's so delicious. I'm just scraping out. You can see there's the skin. And now we have this lovely scraped aubergine mouche, and it's going to be so delicious. We'll do it again. And so I'm just scraping, scraping, scraping with like this. We want it chunky, and we're not even going to have to, um, to chop it, I don't think. OK. Sometimes when it's very, very uh, roasty, I will go ahead and I will squeeze to get uh, that, the burnt juices. Now, all we need to do is add a little, bit of, a little bit of mayonnaise, not a lot. You could make it with tahina, and then it would be called baba ganoush. And then I think you can see that it's just a nice creamy color. This is the most important thing. This is garlic. And well, it smells fabulous. I've smushed it with salt so that makes it into a paste. We've got a little bit of cumin, ground cumin. Again, I have to smell it. And you will too when you make it. It's wonderful. It just smells like you know, it smells like the kitchen that your grandmother made chatzilim in, or the kitchen you made it in. A little bit of coriander, ground coriander seed. And again, because that sort of goes along with the cumin, and it's looking good. Now, a little bit of olive oil, not a lot, dribble. And a little bit of lemon juice, not a lot, just a squirt. And I think it's ready to be tasted. You might want to serve it with a little bit of very traditional North African uh, salt preserved lemons. Again, a specialty of the Jews of North Africa. You might want to put a little bit of that on top. OK, sort of smoosh it around. Little bit of coriander leaves, just that pungent. And if you don't like coriander, you could use dill or parsley or mint. And a little drop of hot sauce. A little drop depending on how much hot sauce you like. So I put the, the aubergine mixture, the chasilim, into this beautiful bowl. We've garnished it with olive oil, which gives a really lovely richness and a shimmering thing. And a little bit of cumin on top, plus some coriander leaves. We're going to eat it with, with pita as a dip. You want to try some? Can drinks? I try the hot? Yeah. Chatzilim. 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 Bateavon. Bateavon. That's good eating. That's, yes, that's bon appetit in Hebrew. That is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. There's a real smokiness in the aubergine, yeah. the way they've been cooked. It's so smooth. It's not like hummus or, no. or abganush. It's beautiful. It's so light and so refined. And that is because you roasted the aubergine you could do in it too, the Marlena. aga. Yes, and also the mayonnaise is very light and lovely. 
It's, Thank uh, you. You're very welcome.